Hey everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. I was making a video on holoprosencephaly, so I thought I should make another video right now. I'm not making case videos for a long time, so I thought I should make one. Recently, we have got a case of sauce muscle abscess, so I thought I should share this case with you. You'll get the holoprosencephaly lecture in a very short time. I'm trying to include the ultrasound and MR findings within this video, so it's taking a, a little long. So without any further delay, let's jump into today's case. Today we are going to see a case of psoas muscle abscess. A 35 years old male patient came with fever, back pain, lower limb weakness and difficulty in standing and walking. This patient came to us for a lumbosacral MR scan where we have got features of tuberculous spondylodiscitis with pre and paravertebral and epidural abscess involving the lower dorsal and upper lumbar spine. We have also got a marginal contrast enhancing thick walled T1 hypo and T2 hyper intense collection in the right swast muscle connecting with the intervertebral disc. Getting this lesion in MRI, we thought to check the patient on ultrasound. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the pancreatic region. If you look carefully, there is an irregularity of the spine at this level. Now on parasagittal scan, you can see a kidney shaped structure. This is a thick walled heterogeneous collection containing thick debris inside at the posterior aspect of the lumbar region. The lesion is situated in the retrofacial space within the swast muscle rather than the retroperitoneal space. It didn't extend up to the iliacus muscle but the view is unfortunately not present here. You can see the adjacent spine casting posterior acoustic shadows. On color doppler, there was no internal vascularity. The lesion is separated from the right kidney here. So, this is a case of sauce muscle abscess. Here's a picture, you can see a pseudo kidney appearance. As a beginner, I may miss it as a pelvic calyxial system dilatation with a medullary nephrocalcinosis. But unfortunately, this is outside the kidney at the retrofacial space within the right psoas muscle adjacent to spine. Here's another picture, you can see the spine casting acoustic shadow and this is the psoas abscess with internal heterogeneous thick content. So in summary, a well-defined thick-walled heterogeneous collection is noted at the posterior aspect of the right lumbar region within the psoas muscle, that is the retrofacial space rather than the retroperitoneal space, extending to adjacent intervertebral disc, which unfortunately I forgot to record. So the features suggested as a case of psoas muscle abscess. Now the take-home message. When you get psoas abscess, don't forget to check four points. Try to evaluate the kidney as it is situated adjacent to the kidney, there might be some reactionary change there like increased ecogenicity, perirenal collection or anything. You should check the extension to the iliacus muscle which is not uncommon. If it is due to spondylodiscitis, then there should be a communication with the intervertebral disc. This is well visualized on prone position with a linear transducer. And don't forget to check the opposite swas muscle to exclude same type of lesion there. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.